So immediately when looking at a problem like this, would you guys agree that I see that I have a rational function, right? Yes. See it? OK. So now, rather than doing what we did before, like when we're finding the domain, we just set the denominator equal to 0, right? In this case, we're not really classed with finding the domain, because what we're classed with is identifying the discontinuities. So the first thing I want to do is see if I can simplify this any further. And I notice that I have two quadratics. I have a quadratic of the numerator, a quadratic of the denominator. So I want a factor. And I could say, you know, what two numbers multiply to give you 10, add to give you 7. And you guys can think, do the factors of 10, 5 and 2. Oh, 5 and 2. So x plus 5 times x plus 2. And then hopefully you guys immediately saw x squared minus 4 and said, ooh, difference of two squares. I remember those. I love difference of two squares. So x minus 2 times x plus 2. OK, now I like things in factored form. Remember I gave you guys one in factored form? Isn't it really easy to find the denominator or the discontinuities in factored form? It's like right in front of your face, 2 and negative 2, right? I got it. So I can figure out the domain really easy from this point. Now, the purpose of factoring the numerator was for us to be able to classify our discontinuities. So I want you guys to see something. I can further simplify this. Because x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 is equal to 1. Yes? So in my revisited equation, do you guys see how x plus 5 or x plus 2 just got removed? So at, oh, uh, sorry. Um, oh, like, let's go and find the discontinuity, sorry. So we have two discontinuities, x minus 2 when x minus 2 equals 0 and when x plus 2 equals 0. Right? So at x equals 2 and at x equals negative 2. You guys agree those are the two discontinuities that we discussed, right? Notice how x plus 2 got removed, got simplified. So that is a removable discontinuity, also known as a whole. Do you guys see how x minus 2 stayed strong, held its roots? Right? So it's still in the simplified version. So x minus 2 is non removable. So and that is a vertical asymptote. So if it's removable, that means. It can be divided out. out. It can be divided out, yes. And that's really it. All right, non removable, it's still in the equation. Right? And what? 